Today, we're making thịt kho chung, or braised pork belly and eggs. The most quintessential Vietnamese home-cooked meal, and I'm a betting man, so if you ask any Vietnamese millennial what their favorite at-home Vietnamese dish is, more often than not, I'd bet that they would say it's this dish. It's seriously that good. All right, chill. I have two pounds of partially frozen pork belly that I'm cutting into some big old chunks. And I like freezing my meat before cutting to firm up the protein to make it easier to get nice and uniform cuts. And if you're a little more calorie conscious, you can definitely swap out the pork belly for pork shoulder instead. Then we're gonna parboil the pork to get rid of the funk and gunk. We're gonna let that go for about 10 minutes before we wash and rinse under cold water. Then we'll marinate our pork with a tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of fish sauce, We'll cut up a couple of Thai chilies, add that to the marinade for a little bit of that heat. We'll finish our marinade with some salt and pepper. We'll get our hands dirty and give that a good mix, and let that vibe out in the fridge for at least half an hour. In the meantime, we'll hard boil eight eggs, and then get those peeled. And the method I like using to peel my eggs is just rolling it around. It makes the shell come right off. Then we'll make our nook mao or caramel, and that's just three tablespoons of sugar. And some folks will add water or oil or even coconut water. But for me, the easiest and most foolproof way to get the sugar to brown is just heating up that sugar by itself on medium low for five to seven minutes while occasionally stirring. Then we'll add our marinated pork into the pot to brown off for just a few more minutes. And do me a flavor. If you like my content and you wanna learn how to make all your favorite Vietnamese dishes, make sure you subscribe. And go to my blog, feedthepudge.com for full recipes. We'll add in a whole can of Coco Rico, which will add a subtle coconut flavor but it also helped tenderize our pork belly. And as a kid, I desperately begged my mom to let me have one of these Coco Ricos just to drink, and she always said no. But one day she finally gave in and let me have one, and I completely understood why she always said no. Drinking it on its own, it sucks. Anyways, we'll add in just enough water to cover the pork, and we'll season that with a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of dark soy sauce to give our pork an even darker color, and two tablespoons of fish sauce. We'll bring that up to a boil, skim off any impurities, and then let that simmer on low for about an hour. Then we'll add in our hard-boiled eggs and simmer for another half an hour or until the pork is fork tender. We'll serve this with some rice, and that's our thit kha